Shiny Gins, how is it going? Hope you're all doing well today. Today we will be discussing social merchants and bankers very specifically. Okay, so just those two guys, those two types of thespians, all right? That's all we're going to discuss today. Uh, if you're interested in more than just that, the economies and kits tab shows the profession merchants, and that's it in the right hand corner as we speak. And then we also kind of go, we also go over thespian configurations in another video, which should be popping up any moment as well. Or you can just click the eye in the upper right hand corner and see that video as well. All right, so let's get started with, uh, and we're gonna start with social merchants first. So a social merchant is basically your your player seller so um if you allow thespians um social merchants allow players to sell their items to other players it's a good way to do a player market all right so let's uh first get into the admin panel all right one moment Okay, we're in the admin panel, and again, if you go to the kits and economy um, video, you'll see this as well. We're not going to go over it, but this little bit here. If you want your players to have their own thespians and do the player market, you must allow them to have social merchants. This is an admin-only setting, so only admins can set it. So if you have access to the admin panel, you go into the economy tab and then you make sure allow social merchants is enabled. Otherwise, it, you, others can't um, create their own merchant and sell the items they want. All right. So make sure that's enabled. All right. So let's take a look at the social merchant here. All right. So the social merchant is basically gonna sell my stuff so we put it this item here I can set the price this is pippy gold so keep that in mind we'll say five gold all right it tells you the item the item ID the amount and the max stack all right and then what is in my wallet uh, how much uh, the merchant has and a preview of the merchant see beautiful this is if you have if you own the merchant personally okay if you personally own the merchant so let's say we want to sell a ruby axe um, I don't know a thousand thespians for five gold as well and um, we'll sell one no 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 uh, split how do I split uh we do this okay and we'll sell 18 for one of those and a 17 of one of those okay all right so as you can see it is stacked so when um when somebody purchases it they'll get all of that entire stack for five gold so keep that in mind this entire stack of a thousand thespians is for five gold and one ruby pickaxe is for five gold all right you can clear sold items i would recommend doing this whether or not you're an admin um on a regular basis make sure ha have some sort of rule or system in place to say you need to clear your all sold items and or um at the very least check in with your merchant once a week in some form all right i would recommend that you can remove all your items that you just placed. We're not going to click that just yet. And then, of course, we already clicked the preview, but now we can actually preview her. She has her items in there, and you can see them. We can click on them. We can purchase them. And then you can see it's sold out. Do the same thing. And it just you can just keep going and keep going, even in a preview. Now, I just bought all of that for her. For um, from her all right so as you can see I have the two ruby pickaxe a thousand and it says sold all right versus unsold for this item all right now as you can see she has 15 gold in her 
let's clear all sold items so I can see what's left and then let's withdraw some funds so I w withdraw all the funds that I just spent so I can have my money and then we can of course remove all items and get the item back all right that's the social merchant for you and if you're liking the video please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and we do have a patreon account so if you guys want to see your names atop of these thespians as I work please go ahead and check out the patreon page all right so the next guy here is the banker the beautiful beautiful banker okay so ooh. now um, with social merchants active you can have a banker as well so as you can see banker beautiful beautiful now you can of course deposit funds of course you'll have to tell them how much you want to deposit we'll say 10 gold deposited 10 gold all right you can reset the transaction and you can withdraw funds now as you can see available funds 10 gold all right so let's say we can we withdraw four silver now you got that and we'll hit close we go in you can see I deposited 10 gold and then withdraw four silver for some reason you can always reset the log and it's clear and you click that it doesn't show back up all right um, you can withdraw all the funds just by clicking this and making sure that you got all of the monies as well there you go and then again if I hit close and refresh to this it just shows when I did it who did it what they did and so on and so forth it is good for guild to guild transfers guild trying to save up for something very specific if you're giving out like um, the forges or the or the frost uh, smithy or something like that and you're like oh you guys need a thousand gold well they can start stockpiling it <laughs> yeah, a lot easier in a banker than on their own character sheet wallet here all right all right that was the social merchants and banker in-depth look I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time thank you for watching if you liked the video don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget Stay shiny, and I'll see you guys all next time.